Hey, what is going on YouTube? It is Lynx Clips 360 and I have some favela free-for-all playing Modern Warfare 2, really enjoying myself with the TAR-21. I mean, on, on the list of my favorite guns in almost every game, it, it stands SCAR-H, ACR, and TAR-21. Then you guys are like, hey Lynx Clips, why are all the, you know, guns from Modern Warfare 2? And, uh, no, your voices don't sound like that. That's just my, uh, third person way of talking to myself don't don't judge me please don't judge me and why are all my guns you know from my warfare 2 well my warfare 2 was the first person the first first person shooter i've ever played and it will probably be my favorite for all eternity unless my warfare 3 takes that spot but yeah and you know i just i've i connected with these guns i, re I really just get these guns i enjoy them and so yeah that that's that and yeah, that's that. Well, as you all know, Call of Duty XP happened, and this is, you know, old news that Call of Duty XP happened, but I've been really just delving into the articles that have really come out of XP and events after XP, and I am just startled what they're going to do with this game. All these changes, it seems pretty ridiculous, and being a competitive player, and I know, I know, I haven't posted many competitive matches lately. I'd like to apologize. You, you all know that the start of the school year had happened, and um, uh, my game battles uh, doubles partner is a year older than me, and so he ta he's currently, you know, taking all of the ridiculously hard and, you know, hard classes. So, yeah. So we haven't really been able to play much, and that that's disappointing. But we have some matches you know, hopefully scheduled for this weekend, and maybe uh, maybe hopefully I will try to push some content out to you guys, some competitive content, because I know some of you subscribe to see game battles play, and I hate to disappoint. But you know, going back on Modern Warfare Three competitive, Modern Warfare Two competitive was uh, really a mess, but it was really fun. It really took the seriousness out of competition. I mean, you ran an ACR, you ran a UMP, and you you were really paranoid. You couldn't make any mistakes. Now with Black Ops, you could make a lot of mistakes and still you know win. But Modern Warfare Two punished mistakes, punished you pushing up too far, punished you really almost doing anything unless you did it strategically, and even rushing with your spaz. Oh, you can't. Well, sometimes you can. Let me rephrase. Even rushing with the UMP or even rushing with your Rafika, I mean, you could very well get punished. And that, it really brought the level of gameplay up for me. I mean, that's where I learned basically almost everything. That's how I got decent. I'm not going to say I'm good because I can improve. But, you know, that's how I got pretty decent. And I, I really hope to see the same thing in Modern Warfare, Modern Warfare 3. We, we already know it's going to be fast, you know, fast and crazy. And I already know that I'm go going to be stomped pretty easily. Look, he dodges both those claymores. Oh, man. But, yeah, I know I am probably could be decimated really easy like Modern Warfare 2. And I'm really psyched for this. But Modern Warfare 3, as you know, have been ma ha you know makes all these changes, uh, proficiencies. The guns are actually balanced, mildly balanced. I mean, the maps aren't you know. There's no dominant map sides like you know. There's not one side of the map that's better than another. <coughs> Bog. Ugh, my throat. Uh, yeah, and uh, so I. It's not really going to be as one sided. I mean, Favela is a good. Uh, What's the word? A good example. Sorry. Oof. Brain fart. In Search and Destroy, I'm not, I'm not really a competitive Search and Destroy player, but it's a really good example. In competitive Search and Destroy, where, you know, it's game battles, basically, your, you know, your spawns. The bottom spawn, which is Ice Cream Shop, uh, lower Ice Cream Shop side by the Barber, is really, really favored. You have multiple routes. You have the low ground before they can get to the high ground, okay? And it just it just favors you. At least in my perspective, it really favors the other, you know, that side. And the reasons are is on the road, your spawn is atrocious. Just saying, you're, and that that applies more to de uh, domination, demolition, and all that. But your spawn is atrocious. But in search and destroy, your spawn is wide open. So even if you know you spawn, you run you still have only really two options. You could either run left or right, far left or right. I mean, 
you could run down middle, but the problem is, is not there. There's very few ways to get to the high ground from barbershop. So the people in the middle usually either run right or middle. I very, very, very rarely see people run left side. Uh, you know, this is on barbershop spawn, by the way. Sorry, but you know, pe people normally don't run long street. That's left side from barbershop. Because of the fact that, you know, uh, Street Spawn up there uh, has it covered, has Long Street covered almost right away. And I hope not to see that again in Modern Warfare 3. Look at these guys. They keep trying to boost. I wait for him to lay down his tack, though. It's always funny just to kill these kids. Oh, well, I hope you get my point. You know, that Favela, you know, spawns are unbalanced, and I hope not to see this in Modern Warfare 3. Uh, here's a triple, sexy triple kill cam, and I hope to see you guys later. Please like, uh, like, comment, subscribe. That rate, you know, liking, liking is rating. Please do it. And I'll be seeing you all later or tomorrow.